Could I have your attention, please? It's another great day. Perfect weather to start bringing all your great festival ideas to light. Some of you have been preparing since last month, and some even longer. I know you're all itching to get started. So without further ado, I hereby declare the first day of festival preparation begun. Time to start setting up. We have today and tomorrow, but try not to leave any work until tomorrow night unless you really have to. All right, everyone, let's do this and stay safe out there.
What even is this? Is this? Huh. What even is this? What is this?
Wow, this is a big one! Wow, this is a big one! Huh. Wow, this is a big one! Wow, this is a big one! Huh. Wow, this is a big one!
Let's give this a try. Wow, that came out well.
than expected. I'll do what I can. That came out rather well. I'm proud of this one. All right, I'll give it a try. Hmm, huh. perhaps the winds are feeling mischievous.
Hello, Breen Schwarzer speaking. Yo, it's me. Oh, hey, Crow. Is something wrong? It's not like you to call out of the blue. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Turns out our outfits for the concert will be arriving late. They said the earliest they can get them delivered is sometime tomorrow morning. That's not great. I mean, it'll be hard to do tonight's dress rehearsal without the actual dress. My thoughts exactly. But don't you worry, though. I'm just as crafty as I am handsome, so I've got a plan. Wanna head out and pick him up for us in person? Uh, Crow, I think the two of us need to go over the definition of plan sometime. <sighs> you ordered them from a boutique in Heimdall, didn't you? Yeah, someone over there is putting the finishing touches on him right now. They'll be done by this evening, so our whole delivery problem's solved if you just head over there. I do it myself, but I've got some stuff I need to get done. Got it. I'll take care of it. I'll head to the station right now. Wouldn't want to miss the train on something this time sensitive. Whoa there, the train? Come on, man. Don't tell me you forgot about Jellica's parting gift. Oh. You're right. It'd probably be faster to get to Heimdall by bike than by train. Okay, bike it is. Besides, if I cut down on my travel time, I can put more work into the festival. <laughs> Even when I give you something cool to do, you find a way to make it dorky. Oh yeah, uh, you should take someone with you too. You're bringing 11 outfits back here, and that's not exactly going to be easy on your own. That's true. It'll be a lot easier with the sidecar, too. Okay, leave it to me. Cheers! Okay, I guess I've got a little more wiggle room to help out around here. I'll head to the engineering club to ask George to lend me the bike once I'm done. I did say I should take someone else along to give me a hand. Not sure how busy everyone is, though. Let's see... Who should I try asking first? Alright, might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. some cooking club responsibilities you just shirked to go off on an adventure, do you? Pshaw, don't sweat the small stuff. Besides, I owe 
only ever help by eating all the food anyway. And on top of that, I want to see these costumes of ours. I guess that makes sense, given that you're going to be right in the spotlight next to Emma. That's the idea. The outfits are supposed to be super revealing, right? I'm already excited to get two heaping eyefuls of Emma. I don't know if you saw some of Crow's early designs or what, but these aren't quite as risque as you're expecting. To be honest, they're probably not even as revealing as the outfit you wear out on missions. Huh? Really? Aw, oh, man! I was hoping mine was gonna be super sexy! Not even Crow would design you an outfit like that. Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. <laughs> awesome! I can't wait to see them! Thank you very much for making these on such short notice. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, you're one of the backup dancers, aren't you? I wanted to make you an outfit that'd bring your energetic nature front and center. This should suit you perfectly. Energetic, huh? So you're the reason I don't get to wear anything sexy. What? Er, uh, please just ignore her. That's what we do. Bird. What the? Uh, Reem, hello. What are you spacing out for? <laughs> it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there. What kind of strange bird? I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. I don't know what that is, but I've probably never seen a bird like that either. What do you think it's up to? I have no idea. Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Hmm? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> mm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? Sure are! No, we aren't! Before you drag my name through the mud... Wow, concert, huh? That sounds like a blast! I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although, I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Uh, that was the famous opera singer lady just now, right? 
Vita Clotilde? What's up with the whole Misty thing? Well, you see... Oh, the secret identity thing is so cool! But doing a radio show? That's the least stealthy thing I've ever heard! How come nobody's noticed they have the same voice? <laughs> it took me a while to figure it out too, believe it or not. Hold on. Tomorrow's Friday, right? But don't they only broadcast Aven time on Sundays? Hmm... Could it be what I think it is? Milliam? Oh, it's nothing. Why don't we head back to Trista? Sure. Everyone's probably waiting for us. We all still need to try on our outfits, too. Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. <laughs> what a nice breeze. I've always figured that Angelica's bike would be something special. <laughs> if I let her soup it up the way she wanted, it'd be unsteerable by human hands. Anyway, are you sure you're okay to come out with me? The lacrosse club's supposed to be preparing the field, isn't it? It's no trouble. We're almost done anyway, and Ferris and the second year has agreed to finish the rest. Besides, if I'll be wearing one of these outfits on stage, I might as well be there when we make them up. True. You're one of our backing vocalists, so I'm sure you'll catch a lot of eyes. This is some vehicle, though. You can really tell that the Ruhr Institute of Technology had a hand in developing it. I think trains are too convenient for bikes to break into the mainstream, but I can see them developing a cult following. <laughs> Only you would give the bike a technical and marketing analysis. It sure beats you asking about the outfits, though. Did you say something? That was just the wind. Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them! Thanks for getting them done on such short notice. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, are you the girl on rhythm guitar? Huh, you've got a kind of natural elegance to you. Couple that with the outfit and you'll be a real sight to see. 
Um. So what exactly do these outfits look like, Reen? Well, you'll see when we get back. A bird. What the? Um, Reen? Are you still with me? You just started zoning out. <laughs> oh, it's, it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there, that's all. Strange enough to get you daydreaming? Yeah, actually. I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Oh, wow. That does sound strange. I wonder what a bird like that is doing in the middle of a big city. Who knows? Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Is she an acquaintance of yours? Her voice sounds kind of familiar, though. It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> mm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? Uh, no way! Never! Let me explain. Wow, concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Tomorrow's broadcast? What was she talking about? And what was all that talk about her real name? Let me start from the beginning. Wait, that was THE Misty from Aventime? Wow! I never would have guessed that Vita, Clotilde, and Misty were one and the same. <laughs> You'd think it would be obvious since their voices are so famous, but it's pretty hard to tell. Hold on. Tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? They only broadcast Aben time on Sundays. You're right. Maybe she's going to appear on some other show? Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. We should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Good idea. We still need to try on our outfits, too. Yeah. But before you do, you have to promise not to get mad. Oh, what kind of outfits did you design?
All right, might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. The vibration of the engine reminds me of a lion's purr. It's very pleasant. <laughs> I was thinking of it as a steel horse, but lion sounds cooler. Anyway, are you sure you have the time to come out with me? The swimming club was supposed to be helping set up the gymnasium, right? <laughs> We've already finished, so there's no need to worry. Besides, I'm curious about just what sort of outfits you've designed for us. Really? I have to admit, I didn't expect to hear that from you. Well, my curiosity stems from the other girl's concerns. I'm hoping that I won't have to draw my sword today, but should these prove too revealing... That won't be necessary, I'm sure. Though, if it is, at least my last memory will be a happy one. <laughs> I hope that's true. For both of our sakes. Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them! Thank you very much for putting them together on such short notice. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, are you the girl on drums? I can't imagine you'll have any trouble winning people over between the outfit and all the banging you'll be doing. Hmm. Reen, should I trust the sinking feeling in my stomach? Well, I'll let you be the judge of that when we get back. Bird. What the? Is something wrong, Reen? This might not be the best place to get lost in thought. Oh, sorry. I was distracted by a strange bird sitting on that lamppost. Strange how? I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Huh, that certainly is strange. A city this large is the last place you'd expect to find some exotic bird. I wonder what it was. Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Oh? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? 
Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> mm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? Uh, of course not. We're merely here to take care of some business. L let me explain. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. That woman was the opera singer we met on our field study here, wasn't she? Why were you calling her Misty? Well, you see... Oh, she hosts a radio program, does she? Given how captivating her voice is, I'm impressed that nobody has drawn the connection between her two identities. <laughs> it took me a while to notice, too. But one thing is strange. Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Abend time on Sundays. Hmm. It's possible that she's making an appearance on another program. Maybe. Anyway, we should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Agreed. We need to try on our outfits today as well. Yeah, I can't wait to see how everyone looks in them. Reen, I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but should your designs prove too indecent, blood will be shed. They're fine, honestly. Probably. Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. Oh, the wind feels so nice. I expected this to be like riding those horses back in the highlands, but it's completely different. They're both a lot of fun. Are you sure it was okay to come with me, though? Weren't you busy helping out with the literature club? Oh, it's fine. We're almost done preparing the short story collection we'll be selling tomorrow anyway. Besides, I'll be wearing one of these outfits, so I can certainly make the time to pick them up with you. True. You're going to be right in the spotlight, too. Oh, don't remind me. Um, by the way... What sort of outfit will I be wearing? Trust me, you don't need to worry about a thing. I checked all of Crow's designs myself. But it won't be too revealing, will it? Reen, why aren't you
you saying anything? Th there's nothing to worry about. It's just revealing enough. Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them. Thank you for making them for us in such a short amount of time. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, are you the girl on vocals? I knew your measurements, but now that I see you in person, you're really gonna knock the fellas dead in that outfit. Uh... Uh, Reen, just what sort of design did you end up going for? Well, you'll see when we get back. Bird. What the? Reen! What's going on, Reen? You look like you've been thrown for a loop. Oh, it's... it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there. What was strange about it, exactly? Well, I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. What? Where did it go? Did you see which direction it flew? Uh... It flew off around that corner to the west. Uh... Stay right here! I'll be back in five... no, ten minutes! Uh... I'm really, really sorry about this. You can go back to the Academy without me if you have to. What's gotten into her? I guess she's secretly been a bird watcher all this time. <laughs> Don't you two make a cute couple? The... I mean, Misty. It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure, mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. How about you? What brings you out here with suitcases in tow? Wait, the way she ran off, I feel like I should be welcoming you into the Lonely Hearts Club. No, it's nothing like that. I don't know what got into her. And she's not my girlfriend. How? Oh, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Well, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. <laughs> I take it that the girl I saw earlier is on vocals then? 
How can you tell? There's just something special about her. She has a certain aura. Whoops! Lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course. I always do. Wait, tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast up in time on Sundays. Reen? Oh, Emma! So, uh... I'm sorry for running off like that all of a sudden. That wasn't like me at all. Hey, no worries. Besides, strange behavior is part of the package with you. I've seen you deep in discussion with a cat. Running after a strange bird seems pretty normal, honestly. It doesn't make me feel any better. But I'm still really sorry to have made you wait. Really, don't worry about it. But did you ever manage to find that bird? Unfortunately not. I tracked it pretty far into the city. But there are so many people that I lost its trail. I see. she's doing, it sounds different from when I can sense someone's presence. Anyway, we should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Oh. Uh, you're right. We should. We haven't even tried our outfits on yet. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> I can't wait to see how you look in yours. What do you mean by that? Because what kind of outfits are these? Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reed. I've got a little favor to ask. This is nice. Feels like we're cutting through the wind. I could get addicted to this. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the same sense of speed when you're on a train. But still, are you sure it was okay for you to come out with me? Isn't the gardening club preparing some big event for the festival? We're done with that already. I'm free. I sort of want to see our outfits, too. That makes sense. Especially since you're going to be right in the spotlight with Emma. Yep. Gotta make sure I can move in it. I think we landed on a pretty nice design in the end. They're a little revealing, but that doesn't seem like something that'd bother you too much. Not unless it's completely ridiculous. It seems like you'd be more interested in Emma and Elisa anyway. Th that's not true at all!
Sorry to make you kids come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them. We really appreciate you making these for us so quickly. Thanks. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, by the way, you're one of the backup dancers, aren't you? You should be a sight to behold in that outfit, like a dazzling little fairy. Now I really want to try it on. <laughs> you might want to wait until we get back. Bird. What the? Rain? Something happened? You have a strange look on your face. No, it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there, that's all. Weird. It was. I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. That's probably not normal. But what's it doing in the middle of a city? Who knows? Oh, what do we have here? I mean, Misty. Huh? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? Why are you lugging two suitcases around? <laughs> mm. You two getting a jump start on a romantic weekend getaway? Bingo. D not even close! <sighs> Let me explain. Concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Well, oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. That was the opera singer from our field study here, right? Who's Misty? Well, you see... Oh, yeah. It all makes sense now. <laughs> it took me a while to notice that their voices were the same. Now that I think about it, though... Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Aben time on Sundays. Maybe she's on some other show. Hmm. Well, whatever. We should start heading back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Yep. We've got to try those outfits on, too. Yeah, I really want to see how everyone looks in them. And 
by everyone, you mean our curvier classmates. I, I do not. Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. So this is why you spend so much time riding this thing. It's really fun. There's just something nice about the hum of the engine. Be sure to thank Angelica for that. Every rage of this bike's been customized to her specifications, and she's real picky. Anyway, are you sure it was okay for you to come out with me? You said you had to go check up on the wind orchestra earlier. Yeah, but the wind orchestra has more than enough people leaving without me. I'm sure they're going to be fine. Besides, I'm just as responsible for the outfits as you are. Good point. We're only one man short of the full design team. I just hope they've turned out okay. Well, that and that the girls don't kill us after they see theirs. Yeah, they did end up a bit more revealing than I'd expected. Maybe we should have kept Crow on a tighter leash. <laughs> well, we should probably see them in person before we get too worried. Sorry to make you guys come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them! Thank you so much for turning these around so fast. We didn't exactly make things easy for you. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, yeah, that sister of yours got wind of what we were doing and came over to take a little look-see. And by that, I mean she came in here all, my little brother deserves the best, and started barking orders. Hope you're happy. She did? Oh, sis. <laughs> Some things never change. A bird? What the...
What's wrong, Reen? It's not like you to space out like that. <laughs> it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there. A strange bird, huh? Yeah, I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. That does sound strange. I've never heard of a bird like that in Heimdall, though. Hmm. Oh, what do we have here? Your... The... I mean, Misty. It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? <sighs> Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together, huh? Ah, to be a teenager again. Uh, <laughs> not quite. We're here on business, actually. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Wow, I can't believe I just had a conversation with the Vita Clotilde. She was out and about, no less. But why do you call her Misty? And why does that name sound so familiar? In a nutshell... Really? I never would have guessed. Wow, now I'm really excited for the next Abin time. <laughs> I know what you mean. Tomorrow should be fun. Wait, tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Abend time on Sundays. Yeah, that is weird. Maybe she thought today was Saturday or something. Hmm, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. We don't want to keep everyone waiting any longer than we have to. Let's get going back to Trista. Yeah, I really want to see how the costumes suit everyone. Sooner the better, too. Sis might have helped, but if they're not all perfect, we'll need to start all over again. Come again? Let's go! We're burning daylight! Quick! I think I might have messed up by bringing the perfectionist along. I thought I'd have to worry about the girls liking them.
All right, might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. me out of this sidecar. Aren't you going a little fast? <laughs> no worries. We're being perfectly safe. You sure coming out with me isn't too much of a bother? It seems like the chess club has a lot of stuff to prepare. Y yeah, I I'm fine. The captain's been working with some of the noble students and they've got everything taken care of. Besides, I'm wearing one of these things myself, so I might as well lend you a hand picking them up. That's reasonable. Might as well know how you'll be dressed when you're up on the stage singing your duet with Eusis. Don't remind me. Ugh, I swear. If I feel at all embarrassed about wearing this thing, you'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, about that. Don't just trail off like that! <laughs> the final version ended up a whole lot frillier than the initial design. But I'll be wearing one too. Sorry to make you guys come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them! We're sorry to have asked for so much work so quickly. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Oh, and I think you're going to be thrilled when you see your outfits. I might have made them just a bit too showy, but I'm sure you're going to look great in yours. Uh, hold on. What's this showy talk all about? I'm not sure I like this. Well, I guess you'll find out when we get back. A bird. What the? Is something wrong, Reed? You're looking oddly distracted. <laughs> it's nothing. There was just a strange bird on that lamppost over there. What do you mean by strange? I've never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. That certainly is unusual. Birds like that aren't exactly a common sight in Heimdall. Hmm. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, your... The... I mean, Misty. It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. 
If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? <sighs> Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together, huh? Ah, to be a teenager again. Uh, I'm afraid not. We're here on business, actually. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Uh, I can't believe I got to see Vita Clotilde in person again. I, and she started talking to us. Why were you calling her Misty, though? Wait, you don't mean... Now you're getting it. Misty and Vita are the same person? How could I have missed that? Oh, I'm such a failure as a fan. <laughs> well, you're not alone. She's done a surprisingly good job of hiding it. But speaking of Abend time, tomorrow's Friday, right? The show's only broadcast on Sundays. Now that you mention it... Perhaps she's making an appearance on some other show? Hmm... I wonder. Well, it doesn't matter. We should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. Y yeah, you're right. We have to try on our outfits before the end of the day, too. <sighs> Even thinking about it is depressing me. <laughs> Come on, they're not that bad. Might as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. <laughs> I'd expected this vehicle to be a crude imitation of proper horse riding. But it isn't so bad after all. <laughs> That's quite the compliment coming from you. Speaking of horses, are you sure it's okay for you to come out with me? You were in the middle of helping out the riding club, weren't you? The riding club's contribution is largely organized by second-year volunteers. I'm sure they'll be fine on their own. Besides, if you intend to stuff me into one of these outfits anyway, I might as well help you retrieve them. Makes sense. Especially since you'll have so much time in the spotlight during your duet with Machias. 
which is a waking nightmare. Having to sing with him is insult enough, but if this costume is embarrassing, be prepared to suffer the consequences. I wouldn't worry if I were you. The guy's costumes will probably suit you better than anyone else. That doesn't sound encouraging. <laughs> well, you'll see. Sorry to make you guys come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them. We really appreciate you making these for us so quickly. Much appreciated. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. But man, did you base the design on something you pulled out of this guy's wardrobe, or what? Put this thing on, and you'll look like the young nobleman all the other young noblemen want to be. <sighs> It'll look great on you, I swear. Why did I agree to this? A bird? What are you doing, Reed? If you're done staring blankly off into the distance, I could use some help getting these into the sidecar. <laughs> right, on it. I just got distracted by a strange bird on that lamppost, that's all. What was strange about it? I've just never seen a bird with feathers that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Well, if nothing else, it does sound like a rare breed. But what would it be doing here in Heimdall, though? Who knows? Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Hmm? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? <sighs> Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together, huh? Ah, to be a teenager again. You're gravely mistaken. We're here on business, actually. Wow, concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, 
Don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. So that was the famous Azure Diva, was it? But if that's Vita, then who exactly is Misty? Well, it's complicated. I see. I imagine learning that their star singer ran a radio program would send the entire Opera House staff into conniptions. <laughs> Sounds like she does it just for a weekly change of pace. Even though tomorrow's Friday, right? But don't they only broadcast Abend time on Sundays? Do they? Well, perhaps she'll be making an appearance on some other program. Hmm, maybe. Well, it doesn't matter. We should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. I suppose that's true. We have to try on our outfits after all. If there's a single aspect of mine that I dislike, you will hear about it. <laughs> sure. I'm sure you'll like it, though. as well see if they're free. Hey, it's Reen. I've got a little favor to ask. <laughs> How nice to ride with the wind. And it's so refreshing to be able to travel along the highway like this. <laughs> Yeah, it couldn't be much more different from looking out a train car window, could it? But are you sure it's okay for you to come out with me? I thought you were in the middle of helping the art club. It's no problem at all. I had just about finished up anyway. Besides, how could I resist the chance to get an early look at her outfits? <laughs> a tall guy like you is really going to stand out on stage. Given your duties as backing vocalist, I'm sure you'll draw your fair share of eyes, too. Yeesh, now you're getting me nervous. Anyway, as soon as we get back, we need to get used to wearing our outfits. We wouldn't want to get cold feet on stage. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure we'll look fantastic. <laughs> I hope so. to make you guys come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them. We really appreciate you making these for us so quickly. 
We can hardly thank you enough. <laughs> this was no sweat compared to what Crow put me through last year. He had me working like a madman. Last year's concert was great, though, so you can bet that I'll be there to see if you kids can top that. Ooh, you're a tall drink of water, aren't you? You're going to make that outfit really shine. Hey, uh, you wouldn't be interested in working here as a part-time model, would you? Huh? <laughs> Gaius does seem like he'd look good in anything, though. A bird? What the... Is something wrong, Reen? Weren't we heading back to Trista? <laughs> we are. Sorry. I just got distracted by a strange bird in that lamppost, that's all. Strange, you say? Yeah, I've never seen a bird that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a bird like that either. But what would it be doing in the middle of the city? Who knows? Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Huh? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? <sighs> Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together, huh? Ah, to be a teenager again. Unfortunately not. We're here on business, actually. Wow, a concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. Ah, oh, so she's the famous opera singer I've heard so much about. But why were you calling her Misty? Well, it's like this. Impressive. So she's both an opera singer and a radio personality? It must be tough to balance both lives. <laughs> yeah, for someone with so many talents, she's really approachable. Hold on a minute. Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Abend time on Sundays. Hmm, huh, really? Maybe she's going to be a guest on some mother show. Hmm, could be. Well, it doesn't matter. We should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. <laughs> Definitely. We should try on our outfits today. I can hardly wait to see how our class will look all dressed up. Same here. Let's hurry on back.
Everyone's probably got their hands full right now. I wouldn't want them to go out of their way on my account. There will be a lot to carry, but I've got the sidecar, so I think I'll be all right. Tell me, Reen, exactly what part of invite someone don't you understand? It really isn't that hard. Man, what would you have done if I wasn't free? <laughs> Sorry. I do appreciate you coming along, though. <sighs> well, I gotta see how my babies came out. Besides, I'm sure Jellica would be thrilled to see me riding her bike, so I guess I can let you off the hook this time. Crow, are you sure it was okay for you to come with me like this? It sounds like you had about a million people asking for your help. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'm not that heavily involved with any of them, and I could finish up my bits just fine. This festival's all about the first years anyway. I know when to stand back and give the other folks their moment to shine. That's surprisingly believable. And here I thought the instructors had caught wind of your gambling plans and you were trying to escape or something. <coughs> Wait, seriously? Eyes on the road, Reen. Eyes on the road. Sorry to make you guys come all this way to pick these up. I think you'll be pretty happy with the way they turned out, though. Fantastic! I can't wait to see them! <laughs> Thanks. Guess I owe you again this year. <laughs> After how hard you worked me last year, I was more than ready for this. But even so, your concert made it all worth it. Let's hope these kids can do something that measures up. Oh yeah, one more thing. I made one of these outfits for you, too, just in case. Aw, oh, for me? You shouldn't have. Uh, Crow, didn't you just give me a speech about how you were going to stay behind the scenes and let us shine? Well, sure. I just figured that if I had a uniform, we'd feel like one big team. Yeah, that's a good enough excuse for now. I uh, hate to snap you out of whatever this is, but we've got somewhere to be. If we don't get going, it'll be night by the time we're back at the dorms. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm back. I just got distracted by a strange bird on that lamppost, that's all. Strange, huh? Yeah, I've never seen a bird that color before. It was a really deep blue, almost like lapis lazuli. Huh, that does sound kind of strange. I wonder why it's hanging around in the city, though. Who knows? Oh, what do we have here? The... I mean, Misty. Oh? It's been a while, hasn't it, Rain? Thanks for not using my real name. If people here in the capital were to overhear you, I'd be drowning in fans in no time flat. <laughs> sure. Mum's the word. Fancy meeting you here, though. I assume you're here to shop? You guessed it. This store does have a branch in Trista, but this one has a much better selection. What about you? What are you doing with those suitcases? <sighs> Two buddies going off on an exciting adventure together, huh? Ah, to be a teenager again. Sure are. Since when? <sighs> Ignore him. We're here on business, actually. 
concert, huh? That sounds like a blast. I'd love to drop by the festival and see it myself. Hmm, I might be able to go if I can free up a bit of space in my schedule. <laughs> It'd be great to have you. Although I can't imagine a professional like you would be terribly impressed. Oh, don't be silly. Great music comes from the heart. Whoops, lost track of the time. I better get going. Well, bye for now. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. Of course, I always do. That was the Vita Clotilde, right? The opera singer? Oh, you've got some friends in high places, Reen. So, do you just call her Misty to keep a low profile for your dates, or what? For one thing, we're not dating. And more importantly... Wow, really? She seems so laid back. She must be pretty amazing to handle two jobs at once. <laughs> yeah, she's something all right. Wait a sec. Tomorrow's Friday, right? They only broadcast Abend time on Sundays. Oh yeah? Hmm, maybe she's on some other show this week. Who knows? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. We should head back to Trista. I'm sure everyone's waiting for us. <laughs> definitely. We've got to get everyone into those outfits. The ladies especially. Then all that'll be left is surviving Commander Elliot's boot camp from hell. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Hopefully. are actually really nice. Huh. They're a bit more revealing than I would have chosen, but at least the design itself is reasonably tasteful. Yep, not bad. And the black makes us look all classy, too. Oh, what am I even doing in this getup? Wow, you look stunning. That's seriously hot. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have trusted the boys. I think it's perfect, and letting your hair down adds just the right amount of mystique. Nice work on the styling, Sharon. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. I think you all look beautiful. Wow, you all look even better than I was hoping. Well, you all look the part of dashing gentlemen yourselves. It seems like you took your inspiration from the traditional dress of the Imperial Court. You look like rejected princes from a children's book. But it kind of works. <laughs> I feel a little bad for you guys. Your uniforms don't have those little personal touches like ours do. Well, considering the time we had to work with, we had to settle for all us guys just wearing the same thing. Eh, no one's gonna care what the guys are wearing. It's better to bring out each girl's charms and let the boys just sort of fade into the background. That's called knowing your audience, boys and girls. <laughs> I see how it is. We're all different heights and have different hair colors, so I think we're better off with a standardized look. 
I'm no stranger to cuffs, epaulets, and overdone embroidery. But it looks preposterous to see you wearing such finery, even if it is just a costume. Hey, I didn't ask for this! What sane man would want to dress like a noble? Besides, I hope you haven't forgotten that we'll be singing in these outfits, together! Sadly, despite my earnest attempts, I haven't. Alright, are you ready to practice the night away? We've only got a day and a half left, and that's if you include today. No time to waste. And that's why none of us are leaving this building until we can do a perfect run-through of our whole set. I don't think he's going to take no for an answer. You're like a drill sergeant when it comes to music. I hope you're not starting to take after Nightheart. Uh, we're not sleeping tonight, are we? <laughs> I'll be sure to bring you all a nourishing dinner later this evening. That's not the problem here. Well, I suppose there's not much more we can do than buckle down and give it our best shot. Fine. I suppose I'll just have to cast my shame to the wind and go through with it. Aww. It's not like I want to wear an Emma. outfit like this, but I might never get a chance again. So come on, Emma. Just Gordon Barrett. Oh, no. I think we broke Emma. Maybe we ought to leave her be for a while.
That was our best yet. I feel like we were really giving everything we had with that one. Ah, oh, I need a rest. The only question now is whether we can do that in front of a hall full of people. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We prepared as much as we can. It's all in the goddess's hands now. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But when you put it that way, it sounds like no matter how much work we put in, it all comes down to luck in the end. If that's the case, we'll just have to coerce luck into staying on our side. Nice work, guys. I think we're right where we want to be. You play like you did just now for the actual concert, and we'll be golden. Thanks for all your help, Crawl. If you're satisfied, I think our audience will be too. <sighs> what time is it even? Only 3 p.m. Wow, I thought it was evening already. <laughs> well, no one could accuse us of not being focused enough. I just want to go back to the dormitory and bury my face in my pillow. Rest? Oh, no, 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 no. No time for that now. See, the best concerts always have two aces in the hole. An unexpected surprise and an encore. Now that we've finally got the basics down, we can try pulling off something that'll pave our road to victory. What? Surprises? An encore? What? Please, tell me you're just kidding. You are, right? Wait, we're not seriously doing that. I thought you were just joking. Now, hold on just a minute. You aren't seriously suggesting that we add another song, are you? Ding, ding! He can be taught! Don't worry your pretty little heads, though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll be all in on this. I've got a nice, simple tune in mind that everyone's heard, and most people probably even know the lyrics. Anyway, we haven't got much time to prep, so how about we get right down to business? Uh, you're a slave driver. Uh... Ah, you killed her! Hang in there, Emma. Uh, I think Crow is more fired up about this than anyone else. Even me. He's taking us on a ride one way or another, so we might as well just strap ourselves in.
I'm beat. My brain's awake, but my body is exhausted. I guess at least a good night's rest will take care of the fatigue. At this point, all I can do is just pour everything I've got into the concert. Hmm. Wasn't there a music program that runs around this time? I could use something to wind down. I don't feel like reading, and there's not much else going on this late on a Friday night. Guess I'll just relax till bedtime. I know I'll be showing Elise around on the second day of the festival. So, the only day I'll be roaming around on my own is tomorrow. If I get the chance, maybe I should meet up with some of the others to see what all of the other classes are doing. Huh? Testing, testing. One, two, three. Wait, we're already live? <clears throat> Excuse me? We interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you this special news bulletin. This afternoon, Crossbell State issued a Declaration of Independence. This declaration was issued by the state government based on a recent referendum and carries no legal authority whatsoever. The Imperial government has issued an official statement that they refuse to accept the declaration as valid. And the President of the Calvert Republic, which also claims authority over the state, has made a similar statement. In spite of this, Crossbell's Mayor Croyce has declared that the country will act as an independent state going forward, as well as announced the establishment of the Crossbell Defense Force, raising tensions both at home and abroad. Whoa! Students and visitors. Thank you very much for your patience. Without further ado, I hereby declare the 127th Thor's Military Academy Festival open. Enjoy yourselves today and have a wonderful time.
What even is this?
Okay, let's give this a try. Well, how about that? Okay, let's give this a try. Well, how about that?
<laughs> well, shall we begin? Please draw a card. After you, Masterine. <laughs> so that's how you want to play. I should have been more careful. <laughs> so that's how you want to play. I'm using a ball. was a wonderful match. Let's get started. Go on, draw a card. After you, then. Mirror. Oh, now you've done it. Mirror! Mirror! Oh, now you've done it! Oh, now you've done it! Oh, same score? We better draw again. Looks like I'm going first. One more game!
Shall we begin? Please draw a card. Looks like I go first. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. I'm using a bow. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. I'm using a bolt. <laughs> so that's how you want to play. <laughs> so that's how you want to play. Now then, how will you react to this? Now then, how will you react to this? <laughs> so that's how you want to play. Splendid! A well-deserved victory! Then let us begin our duel. Please draw a card. Hm. Then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! Divine Bolt! Mirror. <laughs> well played. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Hm. Then I'll make the first move. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. An excellent duel. 
Radio. Shall we begin? Please draw a card. Looks like I go first. I'm using a bolt. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Now then, how will you react to this? Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Now then, how will you react to this? <laughs> so that's how you want to play. Well then, we have to draw again. Well then, we have to draw again. Looks like I go first. Splendid! A well-deserved victory!
Shall we begin?
Well, shall we begin? The battle begin. Go easy on me, okay? <laughs> well, shall we be...
I'm not going to hold back. Well, shall we be... Shall we begin? If we have Begin?
Shall we begin?
getting warmed up. That went well. Let's do this! It didn't work. I've only just begun.
I'll give it a shot. Leave it to me. Handsome and strong, I'm the total package. Seems the winds were on my side.
Handle this. Hiya! A matter of course.
What even is this? What even is this? Huh. Now that's a catch!
Let's give this a try. Wow, that came out well. Ooh, there we go.
even is this?
started. <laughs> Made by yours truly. <laughs> I'll do what I can. It looks great. Mm, that came. All right, I'll give it a try. I suppose this will do. Let's never speak of this again. All right, I'll give it a try. Let's never speak of... I'll do what I can. Uh, not what I... Alright, I'll give it a try. Perfect! I suppose this'll do.
is nearly over. Thank you for coming today, everyone. I hope you'll join us for our second day of festivities. And for all of you prepping tonight for tomorrow's attractions, good luck, and try not to overexert yourself.
You did really well, Re.